Hi, it's Andrea here with Long & McQuaid. Today we're taking a look at Personas' Studio Live 32SC Professional Mixing System. This compact mixing console is absolutely amazing. Comes with motorized faders, comes with a three and a half by six inch touchscreen LCD panel. It has standalone recording capabilities with an SD card slot right here. You've got onboard controls and all kinds of other features. We're gonna get into an overview here, so let's check it out. Okay, getting into the features of this console, it's a 17 by 21 inch portable console, and you've got 16 motorized controllers here. Now, you've got 32 channels of capabilities, which are controllable and viewable with your previous and next page buttons here. So, you can go 16, 32, then you're getting into your effects returns, aux inputs, and tape in. You can change your mixes. I want to go to mix two, go back to mix one, simple as that. As you can see, the motorized controllers are working here based on what you've saved on your uh, mix buses. Here you have up to 16 mixes, and you can have that for um, different headphone mixes, for example or anything you want. You have a drum mix, guitar mix, all kinds of different things. It's really, really convenient and easy to use. You have onboard multi-track recording capability with an SD slot here. So this thing is a standalone beast of a unit. Absolutely amazing. We've got audio software connectivity. Click the DAW button. You're either connected or disconnected. When I hit DAW, there I go. I'm connected to my session you can see the sliders moving on the screen. Super cool. We've got classic onboard EQ, compression, and reverb, and multi-effects. So you can call up, let's say you want compression. So we've got like an 1176 emulator. We've got vintage EQ and reverb emulation, which is absolutely powerful and amazing. And a whole list of other effects that are built in, which is great. So we're connected here with Studio Live RC. I can simply hit play and control the session. I can move the sliders right here and they'll be actually sliding on the DAW and on the motorized controls here. For example, I was recording the drums in the other room using the remote control came back, everything was perfectly mixed, and just as I had it on the tablet. I can mix in the other room, I can mute, I can set up a headphone mix in the other room. Whatever I need to do, I can do on the remote control. So, I can control the session from here, from the board, or from the tablet. Super convenient. I've got three different things going on here. So you'll need a router to connect this wirelessly, but it's really simple to set up. And again, super convenient. Okay, let's take a quick look at the fat channel control panel, which you see right here. Essentially, this controls your channel strip presets. So for example, if I want to edit my snare settings, I'll go right here. Now I can change my preamp gain change my pan, change the gate. We've got compression, we've got EQ. And now if I wanna choose what kind of compressor I want, click on comp. I wanna go with a vintage compression. Let's go with a tube compressor. Now, what you see here on the panel, you can control with the universal knob here. So if I want to Change my peak reduction, just simply click on that on the screen. Now I can control that. Key filter, my gain, simple as that. And let's say we want to play around with the EQ. Okay, same idea. We're gonna click on the high. I'll be able to change that with the universal controller here. And there we have it. I've now just tweaked my snare. Now, for example, if you're doing front of house sound, you can use this AB button. In the event 
you want to change a few parameters for a different song, for example. So same channel strip, but you get two sets of presets with the A, B button. So for the second song, I want a bit more bottom on my snare and just take a bit of the crack out. There we go. Now we have two separate sets of parameters. And let's say I want a different compressor on that other song on the snare. Well, let's go with FET. Now I've got an 1176 style compressor. Okay, we wanna just really crank this thing. All right, and there you go. Bouncing between the AB, just like that, pretty cool. So the fat channel control, again, it takes care of the presets for each channel strip and also gives you the option to A, B, and you have double the parameters per channel. So I find this very, very useful. We've also got 16 dedicated mic inputs at the back. You also get an additional four channels of line in for a max of 20 inputs at one time. This is also a 128 channel USB interface. So you've got capabilities to record and mix 128 channels. It's absolutely crazy. And finally, the Studio Live 32 SC has AVB connection network capabilities, which means it can easily connect to a stage box or other Personas products. So if you wanted to beef up your production and have a lot more inputs, for example, that is available here with the AVB networking. Okay, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you learned something today on the Personas Studio Live 32 SC. I had a lot of fun bringing this video to you. So don't forget to like and subscribe here on our channel and click the link in the description below for more detailed information on this unit at our website. And we will see you next time. For the full six-part video series on how to set up the console, click the links in the description below.